Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Luke Mick here, and the focus of today's video is going to be a box. This box in particular, which is actually sitting atop another empty box, which is sitting atop a bunch of books, which is sitting atop a tabletop. And what is the reason for all of this nonsense? Well, I simply wanted to stand for this video, and I don't have a very high table to stand in front of where I could easily put this in the frame of the camera. So here we are, we made this makeshift, very wobbly and very dangerous table, and we're just gonna have to live with it and move on to what is in this box. The Criterion flash sale was last week. They got my order out really quickly. I think I bought five items. I think I know all of them except one. And when I say no, I mean remember what I bought because you have a lot of things in the cart during these sales and then you take things out, move things around. And by the end, I don't know what's going to end up at my doorstep until I actually oh, open it up. So let's get started with this box that sadly has already been opened because I started filming this video in the intro and then I ran out of space on my camera and I had to redo it. So the box is already open, but you know, you understand the magic of an unboxing, right? Let's just pretend it uh, wasn't previously torn open. So, right off the top, I grabbed The Fugitive Kind, which is a Marlon Brando starring film that is directed by Sidney Lumet. I have only seen 12 Angry Men and Before the Devil Knows You're Dead, but I really love both of those films directed by Lumet. And I just thought, well, it's uh, it's one of his films. I need to see more Brando films in my mind. He's just uh, an actor and a figure that I, I am not as familiar with as I feel I should be, so I decided I would give this one a shot. I've never heard much about this film. I can't recall hearing other YouTubers or other people in passing that I know talk about this film, but I thought I'd give it a shot. The next one here is a newer release, and I always forget to do this. The spy number for The Fugitive Kind is 515. I know people really love their spine numbers, and I do too. It's how I have my shelf organized, but I always forget to mention what they are in these videos. Anyway, spine number 1078. We have Nightmare Alley, which is uh, was very recently remade by Guillermo del Toro. Came out last year in December. I actually really loved that film a lot, a lot more than I thought I would, and I didn't really realize that it was a remake until maybe a couple weeks before it was released. And then I realized that uh, the, the Criterion Collection has very recently released the original 1947 film. So I'm so I'm very curious to check it out and see what the original was like because I loved the new one so much. Okay, this one. I didn't remember for sure if I did buy this one, but I am glad that I did. It is spine number 63, Carnival of Souls. I have almost bought this film so many times over the past number of years. It just seems that all of the Barnes & Noble stores in my area, they usually have this movie on the shelf, and I, I think the same copies have been sitting there forever, because I always grab them, and then I shake it around, and the disc is all jangled, and I hear broken, plasticky stuff on the inside. So I never actually buy it, because it's always damaged on the store shelf. Um, so I, I decided, okay, I'm going to finally just order it from Criterion directly, in hopes that I just get a, a nice-looking copy. And this looks... Perfectly great. It looks fantastic. It doesn't seem to have any issues. I've been meaning to get this film and watch this film for so long, and uh, now I finally have it. I should have had it years ago. Spy number 63, Carnival of Souls. Two more here. Uh, oh, I totally forgot I bought this, this last one. I was like, what was the last one I bought? And that is the one that I was completely forgetting. This was one of the, the ones I really, I knew for sure that I bought. I knew that I, I grabbed it. Uh, it is The Piano by Jane. Is it just Campion? It, it makes, I want to say Champion, but there's no H. So is it just Jane Campion? I've never actually heard her name pronounced, but with Oscar season, uh, if I watch the Oscars, I will probably hear her name come up. She directed uh, the newest movie on Netflix, uh, The Power of the Dog. Um, I saw that movie in the theater, actually, which was really nice. Um, and I really liked it. It stuck with me. I wanted to see more of her films, or I should say I wanted to see more of her films, and this is a brand new 4K of The Piano. This is a 1990s, um, it's a period piece, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's a western, per se, like Power of the Dog, but it's got a pretty good cast. Uh, Sam Neill, Anna Paquin, Harvey Keitel, there were a couple of other names, I think, that I saw when I was uh, looking on their website that I'm not seeing on the back here. 
But yes, the new 4K release of the piano. And the last one here, yep, it is the last one. We do have the poofy green stuff um, that was, you know, cushioning these uh, cases as they made their way to my house. Oh, that was a, a very high-pitched squealy pop. I didn't like that. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, the last one. Speaking of shocks from popping green bags. Shock Corridor by Samuel Fuller. Or Fuller. Fuller? Fuller? He has a couple of films in the collection. And this is spy number 19. And this insert is hardly even on here. There's a pretty big gap there. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust that. And by the way, I think I forgot to say the spine number for the piano is 1110. So we're getting up there as far as the spine numbers go. And this is, uh, yeah, 19. This is a really early spine number one. Shock Corridor. Uh, this is a 1960s, 1963 thriller, mystery, suspense movie. Maybe some aspects of horror. I think it takes place in a sort of psych ward seeking a pulitzer prize reporter johnny barrett has himself committed to a mental hospital to investigate a murder that's that's why i bought this i love a good murder mystery and uh nice uh journalist or detective investigation movie and this i'm assuming is a classic i've heard samuel fuller's fuller's name or seen his name i should say pop up from time to time and uh, it's one that I've never, uh, a director whom I've never explored until now, I guess. This is the first film of his that I own, and I will most certainly check it out maybe soon, honestly. Eh? But here they all are one last time, all stacked atop of one another. I don't think they're upside down. No, they are not, so you are reading them correctly. This is The Hall. Uh, pretty solid. You know, I described a few things that I've been looking at for a long time, or just things that I feel are relevant to my film watching right now like uh not so much this one but like i really liked nightmare alley you know uh i really liked uh, the power of the dog so i was just buying things that are kind of related to other things that i've been watching recently that i really liked so that is the haul that's everything i grabbed during criterion's flash sale but that's everything i have for this video i want to thank you all so much for watching as always do let me know down below which films you decided to pick up during this flash sale or maybe some films that were sold out that you missed out on or future releases that you are looking forward to grabbing in the month of july during the barnes and noble and at this point amazon criterion sales just uh let me know what you are uh, doing in, in relation to the Criterion Collection as of late. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.